Okay, so you thought the first story of me getting fired for 48 hours was a little crazy. Nothing on this one. This is the craziest teacher story that I have. It keeps getting more nuts every 10 seconds. Trust me, follow along on this one. So it's 2007. I got hired to teach intensive reading for seniors in high school. Basically, these students have not passed the reading portion of the state exam over and over again. They've taken this class over and over again, and they've been unsuccessful. I come in, I'm a young teacher, I'm 21. Most of my students are 18, 19. I'm making connections, I'm trying new strategies. They're really feeling it. I think for sure this is going to be great. I get my test results back. 70% of my students pass the state exam. And I was a little defeated. I thought that was really low until I talked to the other teachers. There were three other teachers teaching this particular uh, class. And, and they told me that their passing rate was like 20 and 30%. And it had always been that low. And it, that's why they keep having to retake. So it was tremendous that I got a score this high. And I was, I was on cloud nine. So next day, I get called into the office. I sit down with my principal. And my principal tells me that I'm being laid off. And I was like, what? I, like, I'm, I'm being laid off? Or did I do something wrong? No, I did everything right. Too right, in fact. 70% of my students passed, so there were no students being left over, really, from my class to take the test next year, so they didn't need my class anymore. They could consolidate it into the other teachers, and since they had been there uh, longer, they had seniority, some had tenure, and I did not. I was the first one to go, despite me having the highest test scores. So here's where it gets a little crazier. I get a piece of paper saying, sorry, we're laying you off, which I asked for, by the way. I just wanted it in writing, you know, I, I, and, and I, get, uh, I get home feeling defeated, but I start putting in applications to teach elsewhere. Nowhere's biting. Summer comes, summer passes, my checks dry up. I'm still applying to teach somewhere, you know, but it's recession starting. I decided to file for unemployment because I wasn't getting paid anymore and I'm still trying to find a job and I need a roof over my head. And about a month and a half later, there's a knock at my door. I open up the door and I'm being served papers from the school board because they are suing me for wrongfully claiming unemployment. They want all of the unemployment wages back and they want their court fees and attorney costs as well. It came out to like over five grand for a month and a half of unemployment that they were suing me for. Now that was ludicrous to me because I had the paper saying I got laid off. Case closed, right? So uh, the court date's like a month and a half out. All of a sudden, I get a piece of paper in the mail and the piece of paper says the judgment was ruled against me. And I was like, what are you talking about? We never had the court date. The court date was hasn't came yet. And it turns out they did change the court date. They moved it up. And guess how they notified me? Via school email. The school email that I no longer had access to because they laid me off. And so I never got the notification. So I appeal to the judge. The judge grants my appeal. I show up to this, this meeting and the judge is there. The attorneys for the school board are there. They go on this rant about how I was fired and I, I was fired because I didn't have reading certifications. By the way, the same reading certifications that they fired me for three years later. Oh my gosh, go back to the first video. They said I didn't have the certifications, but I did have the certification and I knew I did. And anyways, I handed that paper over to the judge. The judge looked at it and she's like, um, yeah, it, it says here that uh, you were clearly laid off. And the attorney said, yeah, no comment. They knew they laid me off. They didn't even argue it. They didn't even fight it. They just were hoping that I didn't have the paper anymore and they could collect their money back. I was unbelievable to me. Now here's the craziest part of this whole story. So when I first got the letter that I was being sued, I couldn't find that letter that said that I was laid off. I looked all over for it. I couldn't find it. And, and I was pretty nervous that I wouldn't find it. So I sent an email to my old principal and I said, Hey, you know, I, hi, remember me? You, you, you laid me off. Um, listen, I was wondering, do you have a copy of that letter that we signed in your office? Uh, they're wanting unemployment. And if you could just, even if you could just type a response to this and be like, yeah, I laid him off. Nothing, no response back. I emailed several times. Luckily, 
I finally found the paper right before the court date and I was like, okay, fine, I got the paper. I don't need his email anymore. Get this. The judgment is ruled in my favor. I get to keep the unemployment, which by the way, I don't get to counter uh, to get my court costs back, but that's beside the point. Um, about a week after they ruled in my favor, I get an email from the principal that laid me off that said, hey, how are you? Uh, look, we need a reading teacher this year. Turns out we had higher enrollment than we expected. Would you be willing to come back to teach here? What? You, you left me to dry when they were taking me to court. You're the one that laid me off. You ignored my messages. And now you want me to come work for you again because suddenly you have higher enrollment count and you need another teacher? Why? So I can be successful again and then looking for a job in a year? You are out of your mind. I don't, anyways, that's probably the craziest teacher story that I have. Uh, I love reading your stories, so keep them coming in the comments. <laughs> Thanks so much for listening. Hopefully you can't relate to that one, but if you can, sorry.